welcome back. We are with our friend, Dave Asprey. He is the founder of and CEO of Bulletproof 360. You probably know him from Bulletproof Coffee. <laughs> At least many of you do. Um, probably my favorite coffee. And so welcome back, Dave. We were talking about his book, Superhuman. And I'm, I'm loving it because I'm kind of a science geek. So I'm loving some of the stuff you're talking about. In the last episode, you talked about the seven things that increase aging or accelerate aging. And we're going to dig in now and you're going to talk to us about how to reduce it, correct? So, so I have a couple of comments. There's a whole chapter in the book on fertility uh, equals longevity. So we have this epidemic here yeah. at Amen Clinics yep. where if you work here, you odds pregnant. are you're going to get pregnant. <laughs> right and away. I have nothing to do with it. <laughs> I'm very behaving myself. Yeah, no, um, I, I know that because you're afraid of me. <laughs> I am afraid of you. But um, when you get your brain healthy, your ovaries tend to yeah. work better. Isn't that interesting? And why did you put that in the book? I love the fact that you put that in the book. I put that in the book because my very first book was called The Better Baby Book. It took me five years to write it, and it's about fertility. And to this day, it still sells a lot of copies because people say, oh, wait, this is you know how to expect more when you're expecting instead of how to eat a bunch of garbage because you read a big book about it. And... My wife is a medical doctor from the Karolinska Institute, and she works with clients globally over Skype to help them get pregnant when they can't get pregnant by any other way. Uh, and so I, I've known about this for a long time. And anytime you fix your hormones, yeah. your brain starts working better yeah. and you age less quickly. So mm -hmm. you want to have the hormones of a young, fertile person, whether you're a man or a woman. Mm. And it's just a fundamental part of the anti-aging field and has been for 30 years to keep your hormone levels where they belong. Yes. Now you can do a certain amount with food and sleep and stress, but there's also a time when you're saying, you know, okay, I'm over 40. If I do everything just right, I might keep my testosterone at the middling level for my age. I'm sorry, I'd like to have a 28 year old's testosterone. <laughs> it, it, that's just okay. So I am going to do this magic thing called intervene and take control and make my body do what I want it to do. Because what my body really wants to do is make sure that I have as much sex as possible when I'm young to spread the genes as far right. and wide as possible and then die and then to die. get out of the way, <laughs> yeah. right? And so evolution works. I don't like that path. I don't want <laughs> right. to go there. And so it, it's probably even more important for women yeah. um, than for men uh, because the monthly cycles that you have until perimenopause, they can be debilitating and Perimenopause can be incredibly aging. Yes. Just that, that short period, you know, two to five years where you know, like, oh my God, my face just fell down. Like what happened? Well, massive tissue remodeling. It turns out there's all these rumors out there. Like there's rumors that coffee stunts growth. Okay. That rumor, funny enough, that came about from a company trying to sell you a burned grain coffee replacement beverage. There's no science behind it. And then because a pharmaceutical company was selling a horse urine derived, not mm -hmm. bioidentical uh, estrogen that did cause problems in people, we still 30, 40, 50 years later are saying, oh, estrogen equals cancer. And it's just BS it is not based on science it is not the current standard in anti-aging medicine and tens of thousands of doctors know it. But when you say hormones, you say cancer. And it's just the opposite of that. The truth is that when you have proper bioidentical hormone replacement, your brain will work better very quickly. Your body will get better. And if you tell your body that you're still fertile, it's going to make sure that you stay alive. So I love, you, I love what you're saying. And you talked about the you've talked about the brain aspects and the physical aspects, but the one thing <laughs> that I always say, um, because I've been taking progesterone, I don't need estrogen yet, but yeah. I've been taking progesterone. I get tested regularly. I've been taking it for over 10 years. And I often say it's not just about all of the other things which are so vitally important, but it's about your relationships. I'd be on the six o'clock news. I promise you <laughs> if I did not take progesterone, <laughs> it just makes you more livable and happier. Like if you need it, if you need it, not everybody needs it. And I take the minimum amount that I need, but it mm -hmm. just is, you know, it's not worth and, being and miserable. And women don't know that their progesterone levels drop 10 years right. before they go into menopause. Right. I've been taking and it for 10 so years. It's so important to, you can't change what you don't measure, which is why testing is 
critical. Um, so important what you said. Yeah. It, there's also testosterone for men and women. Yeah. And, and there's a few people at, at the forward edge of health know that, oh, you can use testosterone at the right dose for women and it turns their brains back on. They feel right. so much better. And it's a very different dose than for men where it turns our brains, our zest for life back on. Anyone who's seen the movie Grumpy Old Men, that's just, that's the film of testosterone deficiency syndrome as we age. No one wants to go there, whether you're the grumpy old man or someone around the grumpy old man. So you manage it for your gender and for the age you want to feel. And I will tell you, every woman I know who's gone on testosterone is like, oh my God, I love my career now. I like what I do. My sex drive returns. I, like I look better. You don't get bulky. That's bodybuilder stuff. I what wish, you get is if only. <laughs> so yeah. why do you think? I, I have never seen the rash of low testosterone in teenage boys and young adults. Diet. What's your sense as to why that is? Is it all the toxic products we're putting on our bodies? Is it the pro-inflammatory diets, the lack of sleep? What, what do you think is causing this epidemic of low testosterone? It's been going on for the past 30 years. Yeah. Levels have been dropping. Even testes size in humans has been dropping. Mm -hmm. And Certainly the vegetable oils in our diet are a part of it. That is, is just a fact. Mm -hmm. And this whole plant-based movement, man, you, you want to, <laughs> you want to drop your testosterone real fast now, uh, become a vegan. That's just how it is. By the way, I would become a gravelitarian if it worked. It doesn't work. I was a raw vegan for quite a while and I've experimented with these. I've looked at the science. I also will never eat industrial raised feedlot meat with antibiotics in it. Never. So I'm a vegan before I do that, but I do eat grass-fed, pastured, moderate amounts of protein. So something that's going on there is the quality of the fats in our diet. Our gut bacteria are getting wrecked yeah. by, by what we've done to animals and agriculture. But the really big things that I think are, are causing this are LED lighting, this mm. junk light. I actually started wow. a company called True Dark. We make glasses that, especially for sleep, protect your eyes. 5% of the cells in your eyes sense the light around you. You never even see that light. It goes straight into the timing circuit in your brain. And if you're at the time your testosterone is supposed to be exploding and it's 11 o'clock at night and you're staring at your bright cell phone, it takes very little light of those colors to tell your brain that it's the middle of the day. So deep sleep will get you testosterone. One minute of looking at your cell phone before bed will reduce your testosterone formation, especially if you do it regularly. Your oh, sleep wow. quality goes down. And then we have EMFs on top of it. I'm the last guy to tell you, oh my goodness, we live in a blue lit microwave world. And it's, yeah. No, te communication technology has made the world so much better. We can do what we're doing right now because of this. But turning off your Wi-Fi at night and not sleeping with your phone, uh, at least in, unless it's an airplane mode, those are probably good moves for keeping testosterone high based on very hard science. There's no woo there at all. We're talking about voltage gated calcium channels in cells. This affects the brain, affects hormones. And then there's also lack of sunshine. We know that if you go outside, you get some sunshine. 20 minutes a day, especially with your shirt off and no sunscreen and sun even in your eyes, that that will also raise testosterone a meaningful amount. And so, you know, that's, that's what it comes down to. It, it's not one thing, but it is a major epidemic. I am so grateful when I was 26 that one of the early anti-aging doctors looked at my levels when no one looked at levels of these and said, my God, Dave, your thyroid hormone, which controls your energy, is really far down. Your testosterone is almost not detectable and your estrogen is sky high because you're fat. I worked out an hour and a half a day, six days a week. I ate the low-fat, semi-vegetarian diet and I was hungry, tired, anxious, and sick all the time. And my body hurt all the time and I didn't lose the weight. It was an inflammation problem, not a lack of exercise or lack of willpower yeah. problem. And when you put all that together, you need to get enough of those things, enough balanced. And if I hadn't gone on testosterone when I was 26 to get my levels back, would I have been able to maintain my career? Would I have felt good? Would I have been able to go to an Ivy League business school? I don't think so. It was that important to get my levels where they should have been for my age. I, the LED lights and testosterone, I actually did not realize that. That's really interesting. And what about phones with blue light blockers? Does that help or is that a ruse? It helps a lot to put a blue light blocker on your phone. So what we do to improve sleep quality, and my kids are just phenomenally healthy, and Lana and I do very well, 
But we have dimmer switches in the house. So when the sun goes down, the dimmer switches go down. We have red lights, not yellow, not just blue blocking. The blue blocking glasses actually don't work at night. There's four colors you have to block. So I make glasses under the True Dark brand that are patented that block all of the types of light that affect you. If you look at a phone through that, you're safe. If you look at a phone through blue blocking glasses, it doesn't work because you're still getting other light frequencies in. Oh. So what you can do though on your phone is you can turn on a red backlight inside the phone. So you have to go into the settings on an iPhone. It's under the accessibility settings and you can have it so the screen brightness is very low and you can look at your phone in a dark room and it kind of looks like a reddish color. If you do that, you actually can use it. If not, you need to get a blue light blocker, but really I mean, it's, it's gonna be dark. At night, you should not be looking at a bright white window because in all of recorded history, the only time you would see a bright color like that, that with light behind it, is during daytime. We'd have fire. The brightest thing you could see was fire, maybe a firefly, but you would never see that color. So the body's like, oh, I know that. Daytime, and all your hormones shift, and then you don't get your deep sleep. I've been monitoring my sleep for 14 years. I'm wearing an aura ring right now that does that for me, but I used to sleep with an EEG headset on to get my sleep data because I was so bad at sleeping. And I get the amount of deep sleep, I write about this in Superhuman, that a 20 year old gets in eight hours, but I do it in six hours and 10 minutes on average and I have for the last five years. So a couple hours of deep sleep, a couple hours of REM sleep, that happens. Wow, when we come back, we're gonna talk more. I love the part on fertility, but I want you to talk to us about you know, what's really the new, the latest, uh, the things that the wealthy people might be thinking about now, but may be um, much more affordable in the future. Stay with us. If you're enjoying the Brain Warriors Way podcast, please don't forget to subscribe so you'll always know when there's a new episode. And while you're at it, feel free to give us a review or five-star rating as that helps others find the podcast. If you're considering coming to Amen Clinics or trying some of the brain healthy supplements from BrainMD, you can use the code PODCAST10 to get a 10% discount on a full evaluation at amenclinics.com or a 10% discount on all supplements at brainmdhealth.com. For more information, give us a call at 855 978 1363.